it should in a moment oh, the, oh you can see me now right okay let's go back a bit because you can probably hear me as well if you stayed with me so far you should be able to hear me now tish hello tish ah uh, I can see that I'm going to have to edit this afterwards and probably have another go in the morning. Um, yes, yes. And I'm going to re report this video and see what happens. So let's start at the beginning, shall we? It's a very good place to start, so I've heard. So I'm going to hide that and show this. And we're going to go from the top. So I'm going to send this live and you can see that thanks Tish. You can see that I'm now live on Lightstream with the first slide showing picture of me, picture of Lightstream logo and be live in five. And I'm going to go through the reasons why you should broadcast on Lightstream. And there are a number of uh, reasons, and they are all highlighted in the card that I'm about to send through. Okay, let's get down to business then. Um, right, first of all, why why use Lightstream? Well, first of all, first answer to that is it's high definition, it's HD quality. And that is important because if you look at other platforms, I'm not going to name names, the video quality when you've finished broadcasting and during broadcasting is not high definition. The second thing is with Lightstream, you can broadcast to YouTube and to Twitch and to Facebook. Oh, I, I agree. Stu was, was brilliant um, the other day, and so was Vincent as well. Um, now, broadcasting to YouTube, uh, the audience reach is important as well. And the two things here. Uh, one is that there are a billion users on YouTube, often overlooked. It's half what Facebook is, but the reach goes beyond YouTube itself. The reach is enhanced by the fact that YouTube is not what is known as a walled garden. In other words, to get into Facebook, you've got to log in. To watch a video on YouTube, you don't. You can watch a video from YouTube on Google. You can search for a video and you can watch it there and then. You don't have to visit the YouTube site. And it is totally open. Now, I know not everybody's on Facebook, but a lot of people are actually on YouTube. Now, when you're running uh, Lightstream, you can show images on the screen and you can place them anywhere on the screen that you like, like I've done with this today. And also, you can screen share and you can screen share an application from your desktop or you can screen share uh, from a tab with sound. Well, we'll try that out later. You can also upload um, a video clip and that video clip can be up to 200 megabytes and uh, basically that allows you to play an intro and an outro to the shows that you do and uh, basically just flawless really. Now we're going to test this over the coming days but you can have up to eight people on screen. We had three yesterday, no problems at all. Uh, but you can have eight. And the other thing is that you can have an RTMP source as well. So you can bring in uh, feeds from outside. And this is a, the clincher for me is that you can repurpose the HD video recording uh, and it's just high quality, both the uh, video and the sound. And finally, reason number 10 for going light stream is that Google loves YouTube and Google is the world's largest search engine and YouTube is the second. So they've got a market cornered in terms of search. The search on YouTube is far better than any other platforms. If you search for me, you'll find all of my nearly 500 videos. Um, so why Lightstream? Now it's so good that I actually then uh, went a stage further and I created a Udemy course. Now the Udemy course is designed to help everybody go live on Lightstream 
successfully. In other words, this is the story behind the set. This is how you start. This is how you do an inter go through the introduction, learn how to solo broadcast, learn all about all the light stream features, and that's the text, the pre-recorded video, the images, screen share, and hosting a show. Creating shows. Uh, I was on a show the other day with Vincent and he had seven scenes set up and was switching between them, telling a story. So you can use Lightstream to tell a story and uh, then you can get into multi-person broadcasts. Uh, there are instructional videos about going live and then I take you behind the scenes producing shows and you can watch me actually as I actually produce the show and then what I do after the broadcast. And I've put together a series of scenarios for broadcasters, for marketers, and for teachers. So there are various ways in which Lightstream can be used. And then I take behind the scenes on YouTube. And then finally, in the bonus lecture, I give you links to all the software that I used in producing the course and that I actually use on Lightstream. But it has to be said, Lightstream on its own is darn near perfect. And well, we got through that, Tish. Um, that was the rehearsal. I'm going to do the real, real thing tomorrow. I know the first bit didn't have sound. I think somebody was watching behind the scenes and gave me my voice back. I'm glad they did. Um, I might download this video afterwards and uh, edit it using Screencast-O-Matic. Um, oh, the final thing. Uh, well, in, in terms of Lightstream, is that Lightstream is actually free to use. Um, you can create shows on Lightstream 24 seven and go out to YouTube and go out to Twitch and shortly go out to Facebook. And as I proved today, uh, when you're going to YouTube, the comments are actually integrated. I can, I can see Tisha's comments and I can react to them. And we did say to Studio the day, it would be nice if we could actually, yeah, actually feature them on screen as well as we do on Facebook, um, because that would give it an edge really um if i could bring your comment over here tish and let's just do this live shall we this is the closest i can get at the moment and i'm going to bring that down there you see what i'm doing in a minute um hopefully and that if i could move this and so I want that on the screen and I'm just going to edit it. And then I'm going to send it live. When I finish editing it. So this will be recording Tish. So there you have it. And uh, I had to cut and paste to get that. And I had to put your name in. Now, if I could just drag that onto the screen, uh, that would be brilliant. So that was the practice. It finished well. Tish, thanks for watching. And for everybody else who actually sees this video, um, I do wish that YouTube still under editor because I could do a quick edit. Um, but another step forward. And I think the, the changing of the cards, perhaps a little bit smoother. Uh, but uh, it was good. And I'm going to end. Enjoy using this platform. I uh, should be back tomorrow, possibly with a guest. Okay, so you get a notification of that. So take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. And I'll switch back to me. This is how quickly we can switch things around here. And I went, I went dark for a moment then. I'm going to say I pushed the wrong button to cover things up, but I'll see you again soon. Take care.